Well, trouble in the north continues with the latest attack by bandits taking place just hours after the commander-in-chief directed that a multi-agency approach be executed to crack down on the criminal elements. Experts within security circles believe that tough talk is only a temporary reprieve for residents of the volatile region. So, what's the winning formula, if at all, in the fight against banditry? NTV's Leila Mohammed interrogates. Cattle rustling and banditry have found a home in four counties in the North Rift region, with gunmen taking short and well-calculated breaks. In times like the present, when a multi-agency team has been sent to flush them out, only to return when things have lulled. Look around the TV you'll be seeing. People are armed walking around. Not in a country where there's arms control. You can't allow that. We are seeing it and accepting it. We have a civilian PS, CS who will go to Trukana don't in military fatigue. In fact, what we are, the kind of tactics we are using is that we are threatening violence on the people. And this is not going to work, uh, work for us. This multi-agency approach has been tried in the past in Laikipia County, a mission that a former regional commissioner now reveals lacked coordination. Maana wenye ngombe, wenye mifugo, wenye nani, ni wale watu ambao nakaa nao kwa meza, mjibanga mikakati ya kumaliza majangili. Yo alifi itakusha na mnagani. The issue of in between fights inside the agency is not there. It's the issue of functions and who does what. In fact, in Lekipia, our role is very small. So we're at the back trying to clear uh, 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 the, the charges that were there, living indeed the local force police and the rest to deal with the situation. Security agencies have been accused of failing to understand the lay of the land and the bandits they fight, leaving officers vulnerable to attacks during security missions. I can't say that our officers are ill-trained. The fact is that uh, they don't understand the terrain and they are working, navigating a very complicated terrain with broken compasses. I mean, what we lack basically is intel information. According to data from the national government, about 800,000 small arms found themselves illegally into the arms of civilians in the country, with 10% of that ending up in the Rift Valley and causing a major havoc with banditry in that region. If the government fails to secure my animals, I carry my, my, carry my, I carry my weapons. They'll come for me. The earth will come for me. I defend them. Why should we allow them to defend themselves? It's not their call. They call? To the defense of my animals in Uspokot, in Turkana, in Baringo, as to the government. Simple challenges faced on the front line have been cited as weak points in securing the volatile north. There's no incentive whatsoever. The troubled north has been described as a forgotten frontier that is in need of a change in government policies to open up not only spaces but opportunities for the residents there, many of whom suffer from illiteracy, poverty and the scramble for diminishing natural resources. Remember we had Operation Nyundo in 1984. What did it achieve? Apart from displacement of the population, we didn't achieve much. Now we have the president saying that he has given instructions to the CS interior to camp there. To do what? The only thing we know is deployment of security forces. Yet we have other things that we are supposed to do. Provide roads, even for security forces to operate. Provide enough water. Provide, uh, uh, control the grazings. Control the grazing. And then patrol those areas throughout. Throughout. Not, don't be reactive. No, be there. And respond again when you're on ground. Please do gather intelligence. While the government has sent out a multi agency team that includes the Kenya Defense Forces to deal with the bandits at the moment, calls for a permanent stay there of the Ulenzi boots has been termed as unsustainable. Let's focus now in, on, on North Rift, Marakwet. What we are getting there in terms of revenue is not enough to sustain a military presence in those areas. And this is where we need to now refocus and need to re-strategize. Until then, boots head to the ground in efforts to calm the situation for the short term. 
Leila Mohamed, NTV.